I'm here in Gaza City. A lot is going on between Israel and Hamas. And this has taken the lives of innocent people, people that do not really have a major say into the causes of this trouble. Thousands fleeing, thousands dead already. Is this how the world is going to be watching instead of coming in and making sure that this conflict is over? Just see this video, another revelation from another side of the story. But what we want is for this war to stop, just like the numerous wars in Africa should also stop because it is the innocent people everywhere that suffers when issues like this comes up and those benefiting from the war, they will never want it to stop. I'm here in Gaza City. We are here next to a house of a terrorist. This is one of the senior terrorists who is the head of the operational naval operations that led the raids into Israel. His house is right next to a, to a school. His house is 200 yards from the hospital, the hospital of Rantisi. Next to his house, there is a tunnel. Now I want to show you an operational tunnel. The tunnel is built with electricity. We first saw the solar panels, then the electricity goes here and it goes down directly to the tunnel. Now you can see the tunnel. You can see the tunnel. The tunnel is let down more than 20 meters down. The robot found a door, a door that is bulletproof. It's, a, it's explosive proof. So it looks like a hard evidence, a clear evidence that the hospital direction is connected. This is a cover tunnel. It's part of the same floor and it slides down here. So it's a cover tunnel so nobody can find it. This is Rantisi Hospital. And this is the place where I showed you the tunnel. I want you to see. This is the back side of the hospital. Hamas used this hospital. Tonight we have entered into this building. I will show you the evidence. Let's enter into the hospital. We're now entering into the area of the hospital where we had the, found the evidence. Uh, this operation was conducted by uh, Israeli Special Unit, the Israeli Navy SEALs. This is still an operation that is conducting. And I'm showing you the first evidence to see. We are now, we are now in the area of the basement of the hospital. I want to show you a room where we found all the gear, the operational gear of Hamas. Hamas is using hospitals, like we showed the evidence in Shifa Hospital, in other hospital. We are now seeing it in live in Rantisi Hospital. A operation still conducting right now. Look at what Hamas is holding inside the hospital. I want you to understand, this kind of gear is a gear for a major fight. These are explosives. These are vests, vests with explosives. Yeah, it's a body vest for terrorists to explode on forces. Among hospitals, among patients, we have hand grenades, Kalachnikovs, and then we have the RPGs. People shooting RPGs from hospitals. This is Hamas, firing RPGs for hospitals. The world has to understand who is Israel fighting against. We are now in the basement, and in this basement we found a motorcycle. They were all used in the massacre of the 7th of October. They even have bullets in this motorcycle. So they came back from the massacre on the 7th of October into Rantisi Hospital with hostages on a motorcycle. We're still researching this. Yards from here, we find the chair, a woman close, and a rope, a rope next to the legs. And look above this, look above it. 
It's a baby bottle. It's a baby bottle in a basement above a World Health Organization sign. This is a suspicion for an area where hostages were being held. We're now looking at an infrastructure. You don't need to build something improvisedly in a hospital in the basement. Unless you want to hold someone in the basement, you don't want anyone to see him. Again, we're in the same basement, and here we see diapers, and we see, I don't know, maybe something. We see diapers. I want you to see this room. It's in the basement of the hospital. We can see this area is a closed area from the rest of the hospital. We can see the ventilation air that was done improvisedly to this area. And we can see infrastructures that was built in here. Toilets, shower, a small kitchen will provide the terrorists their needs. Also conduct a hideout. A hideout where terrorists take hostages and hide out. And I will show you now the evidence. You're now entering into the room where we suspect the hostages were being held. I want you to look at this room. People are putting curtains with nothing above, just wall. No reason to put here a curtain unless you want to film hostages and deliver movies. And now we'll show you more evidence. In this room, there is a list. This list in Arabic, in Arabic, this list says we are in an operation. The operation against Israel started in the 7th of October. This is a guardian list where every terrorist writes his name and every terrorist has his own shift guarding the people that were here.